Hi, this is Tamara Drake with UkiahValley.tv, bringing you the latest in news from Mendocino County. On Wednesday, Ukiah Valley TV spoke with Charlie Fielder, District 1 Director for Caltrans, and Dave Kelly, Project Manager for the Willits Bypass. Fielder said the $199 million project was right on schedule. Overall, the project is doing quite well as far as schedule goes with the design and uh, most of the features that are within our own direct control. Fielder said the 22 parcel, 125 acre bypass had been affected by the volatile economic climate with increasingly favorable construction bids and changes in the number of lanes among others. You know, with the depression in the housing and property values, um, that's also helping with the acquisitions for, for us and also for the uh, property owners who uh, may have been looking forward to selling their property, but it's not a very good climate for people to purchase property. So we're here to uh, make a deal. Kelly said that only four homes had been relocated by the project and that the rest was unoccupied ranch land. Most people have been pleased with our appraisals. And Fielder also stated the recently enacted Federal Stimulus Act would not apply to the project. No, it will not be. Those uh, funds that are being allocated for that need to be um, encumbered within 120 days. There is funding that has been identified for the Willits Bypass project and certainly this project will be a, a stimulus for the economy. Builder said the late spring or summer of 2010 was the projected start date for the project, depending on the mitigation of the approximately 65 acres of wetlands impacted because of the permitting process. And right now we are having a very difficult time with yes. that. We could use some help on that because as you know very well, the Willits Valley is quite wet and the majority of it is wetlands. Also, Caltrans had partnered with a number of local agencies, including the Willits Environmental Center, to wrap up the project. Just visualize the bypass. We can do it. We need to work together on it. We've come this far. And we just got to make that final stretch. Kelly said he and several other engineers had a significant portion of their careers wrapped up in this project. We are dedicated in getting it out because at this at this stage, if something happened, it would be not only devastating to the state and to the county and to the city, but to us personally. So we have a personal uh, agenda to get this project built. In a continuation of this week's Board of Supervisors meeting, the board will once again tackle the Ailing County budget and water concerns on Tuesday. At 9.45 a.m., the board will convene as the Mendocino County Water Agency to look further into conservation efforts to combat fears of a coming drought. And starting at 10.30 a.m., department heads who overran their budgets by $10,000 or more will be forced to explain their plans to reduce their budget shortfalls for the current fiscal year. This list includes the offices of the Sheriff, Auditor, Planning and Building Services, Grand Jury, and Health and Human Services Agency. That's correct. We'll do a follow-up for you on that. Both Sheriff Tom Allman and Director of Planning and Building Services Nash Gonzalez said last time they had little leeway in the matter but tune in to see if any others have exit strategies. This is Tamara Drake with UVTV. Check back often for more local news.